Hello, everyone. Tell, welcome to another episode of Spiritual Readiness and the Time of the Shift. The Earth is transitioning into a higher version of itself. And as such, everything that currently is the foundation of the 3D paradigm is collapsing and being demolished. As such, I personally have witnessed everything around me change so rapidly that I had to take a few months off. I have been off mass media with any new videos for the past five months. It is simply because I was trying to have clarity. I can only guide and teach if I have these qualities uh, shining in me, truth, authenticity, and transparency. I have witnessed light worker friends of mine, people whose character I could vouch for, people who have ch I have channeled with on panels, change dramatically in a matter of a month to two and have been radicalized into pushing a specific narrative that is akin to mind control. Now, I, I want to be very clear. It's not about a right left thing because I've seen it happen on both sides. Rather, it's mind control 101. The fact that there is an energy system right now around the earth that's demolishing everything, that deconstructing everything that exists, whether it be climate change, whether it is the uh, a pandemic, whether it is political and social unrest, whether, whether it is social injustices, all of it is being exposed and revealed to the core. And we are forced to reckon with the inequities that, are, that, are, that have underlined all of it. Now, in the process of this happening, many feel raw, panic, fear. I know I felt it. This is the reason why I was out of mass media posting any new video. I was trying to figure out and trying to understand what was happening. Now, I have to say to you that a lot of these people that I believe got radicalized and, uh, and mind controlled are good people. I don't want to make you under, make you believe that they were bad people to begin with. They are good people. But what happened when you're trying to mind control a person, the first thing you have to do is that you have to deconstruct their reality. The outside events that are agitating the planet are doing this by themselves. They are causing everyone's belief system to be deconstructed where they begin to question who they are what they are doing here, and what purpose are they supposed to fulfill. And as such, they try to find a narrative or a pre-existing um, uh, series of uh, uh, information to try to, not to try to understand, but to try to explain it. And there's a huge difference. One is completely cerebral and mental because you're looking for somebody to blame, the other one, when you're trying to understand, you're not blaming anybody. You're trying to comprehend the full picture holistically. Now, if you're not doing this and you're trying to explain, you, you will grab at any body that you think is throwing you a life rope or a buoy to try to explain this to you. And a lot of these good people have grasped, and particularly when it connects to, let's say, an issue that's, that's fundamentally their, their pet peeve or um, uh, a soft spot for them, whether it be uh, uh, um, um, uh, no vaccine, whether it is uh, natural health, whether it is uh, um, um, uh, child abuse, whatever that is, they've grabbed onto it, or personal freedom, they've grabbed onto it, and they will not let it go. And the narrative, although in normal state of awareness where the, the entire uh, paradigm and reality was intact, they would have never accepted the rest of this narrative. They've swallowed the whole thing whole. And their personality now is no longer theirs. 
when you, you mind control somebody, you deconstruct their reality. And the moment they completely feel vulnerable and exposed, they don't know who they are anymore, you insert a new personality in. So the life rope they think they were grabbing, that's the new personality coming in. Additionally, I have to say to you that I personally have not been out of clarity for five months. I've understood quite a bit way earlier before, but I have now to be careful on how I say things and what I say, because I don't want these people who have to be, who are now radicalized to start attacking me because of what I am saying. And thirdly, I want to say that I'm, I'm, um, I'm very aware that this radicalization that's going around is creating the perception of a bifurcation. Like you can, you know, a, po a polarization that you have a choice between one of two things. When in fact, whatever side of the polarization that you exist in, whether you believe in this one or that side, one is the weight, the other one is the counterweight. They exist in the same seesaw. All of these beautiful soul whose character I could have vouched for about five, six months ago, who have now been changed, I, 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 I all on the seesaw, on one side or the other. And I have seen only very few people who have had the discernment to realize that the new earth is not on the seesaw at all, because one is the weight, the other one is the universe trying to balance it, it's the counterweight. The, the new earth exists outside of that scheme altogether. It is an emerging awareness because the new earth is in 5D, we are in 3D, and if we are climbing up the dimensional scale, it is clear the existing mental uh, powers and all of the things that are connected to what exists in 3D will emancipate into a yet unknown and emerging awareness that we need to emancipate and elevate into. And if you're focusing on the agitation and the chaos that's being created around us, and you're, you're, you're giving it worth and value, and you're letting it occupy your consciousness, you're either you're on one side or the other of the seesaw, and you're not moving toward the new earth. There is no movement forward. Now, I have to say to you that the reason I'm reaching out to you now, it's because I have now have much more clarity about what's going to happen. And P.S., everything that's happening now, I have been channeling and predicting since 2014. I have seen this for a very long time. Even the global pandemic, I can send you link to uh, and, you know, ch actual channeling that were done that talks about the pathogen. I, I could give you all of the, of the receipts, but that's not the point. The point is right now, right, particularly in the US, right before the election, things are gonna get really crazy once the election happens. Things are gonna derail rapidly into instability and even to the point of, um, possibly a civil war. And I am now trying to figure out a way to connect to the rest of my greater community that's out there to guide some of you who maybe align and understand what I'm saying in a private manner so that I am not being censored by mass media platforms. What I'm saying and what I'm asking of you today, I am proposing, I have the intention of creating a Patreon page where you can pay a few dollars a month for subscription, be it no more than $10. Uh, and there will be different levels of this. And I will give you weekly updates of what I actually really think because I have a map to what's gonna happen for the next seven years. I know point by point, not in copious detail, because it's interesting how when you perceive the future, 
when you're doing it from a channeling point perspective, you get it from, from a, a, a celestial master's perspective. It's, um, it's one experience, but when you're living through it in the human body and in the human flesh, it's a very different thing. There's a lot of confusion. There's a lot of panic and a lot of fears, but I have enough information to be able to guide you and to help you prepare and be ready for what's coming. And I'm proposing to reveal that information to you where I'm not concerned about being censored by um, uh, um, any mass media platform through a Patreon page. Let me know, let me know um, uh, in the comments section below by typing yes, if you're interested, if you would support a Patreon page with weekly update as to what's going on energetically and uh, for the planet and for the movement toward the new earth, and more importantly, your own personal ascension. Please like this video, give it a, give it a thumbs up, and uh, let me know uh, what you think. Leave comments. Uh, I, I, I look forward to be able to post uh, uh, more videos soon, and thank you for listening. Have a blessed day.